Saudi Arabia. He's had dinner with many princes and very important people. And he oh. just Ever wonder how Tesla trains its cars to drive themselves using over 100 million miles of video data every single day? What if there was a supercomputer built just to handle that? That was Tesla Dojo. And after all the hype, it's now been shut down. Why? Let's break it down. What was the point of Tesla Dojo? Back in 2021, Tesla introduced something big at AI Day, a custom-built supercomputer called Dojo. Unlike most companies that use NVIDIA GPUs, Tesla decided to build everything from scratch. The goal was to train the AI for full self-driving, FSD, using video data from its cars. Teslas collect huge amounts of footage daily, and that needed powerful computing to process. Dojo was made to handle just that. No LiDAR, no radar, only camera data. Building it in-house gave Tesla full control over performance and design. It wasn't just about cars either. Dojo was also meant to train AI for the Optimus robot. So, this wasn't just a supercomputer. It was part of Tesla's bigger AI dream. A custom AI engine built just for Tesla's vision. But it came with big challenges. How was Dojo built? Dojo all started with a bold move. Tesla decided to design its own chip, completely in-house. This chip was called the D1, and it wasn't made by big names like Intel, AMD, or Nvidia. It was Tesla's own creation. The D1 chip packed 354 processing cores, all optimized for tasks like machine learning and video data crunching. Perfect for the kind of footage Tesla collects from its vehicles. It wasn't built for everyday computing. It focused on parallel processing, which means handling tons of calculations at once. It ran at 2 GHz, which might not sound fast compared to gaming CPUs, but speed isn't everything in AI. What mattered was how efficiently it could work on training neural networks. But one chip alone wasn't enough to take on the massive amount of data Tesla's fleet produces. So Tesla took 25 D1 chips and linked them together to form what they called a training tile. This tile acted like a supercharged engine room. 25 powerful chips, all working together as one. To make that happen, Tesla didn't use regular connection systems like Ethernet or PCIe. Instead, they created a custom high-speed network fabric that let the chips communicate at blazing fast speeds with very low delay. This tight integration allowed Tesla to move huge amounts of data between chips without bottlenecks, which is key when training AI on real-world driving scenarios. Now here's where it gets wild. Tesla didn't stop at one tile. They scaled it up massively. 10 full cabinets, each filled with these tiles, made up what was called the Exapod. Altogether, this beast of a machine delivered more than one exaflop of performance. To give some perspective, that's a billion billion operations per second, making Dojo one of the most powerful AI training systems ever built at the time. Tesla also developed custom I.O., input-output, processors, to handle the insane data load coming in and out. From the silicon chip to the networking, even down to how data was fed into the system, everything was custom built by Tesla. It was a massive achievement in design and engineering, but also incredibly complex to scale and maintain. So, was it better than Nvidia? Tesla clearly wanted to compete with Nvidia. At the time, Nvidia's H100 chip offered around 1.98 petaflops. Tesla's planned DOJO2 chip aimed for 3.6 petaflops, which would have been almost double. Dojo2 used 4 nanometer technology from TSMC and better cooling systems. It sounded promising, faster, cooler, more efficient. But being faster on paper doesn't always win in real world use. Nvidia had years of experience, tools, and developer support. Dojo was new and didn't have the same ecosystem. Competing at that level required more than just raw speed. It needed support, software, and stability. And that's where things got harder for Tesla. Dojo's hardware was custom, so the software had to be too. It didn't support common tools like CUDA, PyTorch, or TensorFlow. Tesla had to build custom compilers and frameworks from the ground up. This gave them full control but came with a huge workload. Developers had to learn new tools, slowing down progress. It also meant Dojo couldn't plug easily into standard AI pipelines. Managing and maintaining that setup was tough, even for Tesla. The system was powerful but required constant support. 
Over time, that added complexity started to show. Dojo's strength became one of its biggest pain points. When did Dojo actually go live? Dojo officially launched in July 2023. It started training Tesla's AI using real-world driving data from its fleet. This wasn't just a test, but it was running live, doing real work. Tesla also began working on Dojo 2, aiming for even more power. They expanded a facility in Buffalo, New York, to support production. Dojo was seen as the brain behind both FSD and Optimus. With strong hardware and growing software, the future looked bright. But behind the scenes, costs and complexity were rising. Managing Dojo was becoming more difficult over time. And soon, Tesla made a major shift in direction. Why did Tesla shut it down? In August 2025, Elon Musk announced the end of Dojo. He called it an evolutionary dead end. That meant it wasn't the most efficient path forward anymore. Dojo was powerful but also hard to scale and manage. Tesla shifted focus to new chips called AI5 and AI6. These were more flexible, handled training and inference, and used industry standard systems. The Dojo team was disbanded and some engineers moved on to Density AI, a new startup. Instead of building a separate system, Tesla chose to consolidate. They went for a simpler, faster, more scalable solution. It wasn't about giving up, it was about evolving. What's the future now without Dojo? Dojo is gone, but its lessons live on through Tesla's new AI5 and AI6 chips. Built using everything Tesla learned, they're manufactured by TSMC and Samsung with standard tools, making them faster, cheaper, and easier to scale. AI5 handles inference, while AI6 does both training and real-time decisions. These chips now power all Tesla projects, from cars to robots, without needing custom systems or software. Dojo was one of Tesla's biggest tech leaps, and it worked. It proved Tesla could build and run a custom AI supercomputer, but it also showed that flexibility matters more than total control in fast-changing tech. Dojo gave Tesla the tools and knowledge to build smarter, more practical chips. Now the focus is on AI5 and AI6. Leaner, better, and future-ready. Dojo started as Tesla's big bet on AI hardware. Fast, powerful, and built from scratch to train self-driving cars. But after two years, Tesla decided to shift focus and move toward a more unified approach with the AI5 and AI6 chips. While the Dojo project itself has ended, the tech and lessons from it are still shaping Tesla's AI future. In a way, Dojo became a stepping stone, not a dead end. What's your take? Should Tesla have continued with Dojo or was it the right move to pivot? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're into Tesla, AI, or future tech, hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share the video if you found it helpful.